All right, so I just wanted to go into more detail of my newest idea. It's called Ape Father and the Apes Drive Through Movie Theater that will also have a stage for music, okay? It's going to have a very similar business model as Sonic. You know Sonic, how you drive up into, into the car, the girls come out with the roller skates like the old days of the 50s and they serve you the food. Okay, so here's going to be the, the biggest difference though. The biggest difference is that it's going to include, like I said, live music. I will be applying for a liquor license. And it's very important that the food is not going to be on a fast food level. I want it to be quality food. I want the pizza to be similar to L&B Smomoti Gardens. I want the steaks to be similar to Peter Luga. You know what I mean? I want top quality food. I want top quality. I want to have a tremendous variety of beer from all around the world. Okay, that's going to be on draft. So I'm really, really going to make this cool. It might have a, ju a jungle theme. You might see a lot of like gorillas. It looks like the safari jungle. It's going to be awesome. Okay. The first business, I'm going to be honest with you, I need to get it off the ground. I need to establish the brand name Ape Father of the Apes. How am I raising money? Through my live streams. So... You know, I'm going to start announcing now. I'm going to make my live streams more uh, organized. Before I do a live stream, I'll do a video and I'll say, you know, like for instance, the live stream is going to be at five o'clock today, Eastern, Eastern time. So at this way, I give all of you a heads up to know when the live stream is and you could come. And I'm not asking for big donations. If you donated five bucks even, that would be more than sufficient. What I would do is I'm asking you to send me an email. So if you send a $5 super, super chat donation, send me an email. Hey, Father, I love you. God bless. Best of luck with this idea. I just want you to know uh, I sent you five bucks. I'm going to keep that on my drafts. And I will reward you with something. When the business opens, I'm going to invite you down. You don't have to come on opening day. You could come whenever you want. Because you might live in a different state. I think this is probably going to be a New Jersey. Okay, this first business. But whenever you come down, I'm going to hook you up VIP treatment. You're going to have a nice meal. You're going to hang out with the ape father. You're going to have a nice beer with me. Salud, Gentani, cheers. And I'm going to give you something for your super chat. That I promise you. I don't expect nothing for free in this world. I always, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. But I'm going to be perfectly honest. The first business, you will not have an ownership position or interest of any type in terms of financial interest. You will not have equity in the business. Now, you might say, what's the reason for that? Because we have to first establish that this is real. I want it to be real. Okay, so the first business, you kind of do it on the arm. But like I said, I'm going to give you something for the money that you send by way of a super chat. I'll give you something. You come down to the restaurant, drinks are, drink is on me, food is on me, hang out with the eight father, and we're going to have a great time. A lot of laughs, a lot of fun. After this business is established, it's doing well. Oh, by the way, I am going to be purchasing the real estate. I'm following in the McDonald's blueprint model, meaning that we're not. I'm not leasing. I'm owning the real estate, building the facility, and I will own the real estate outright. That's the way to win. That's the way McDonald's does it. And that's the way. I don't want to be like this Mama Luke Adam Aaron who leases space. And ultimately, the landlord keeps, keeps increasing the, the, the lease and the rent, and he can't afford to pay it. So in my case, I would own the real estate. Now, once this business is established that it's doing well, we're not limited to just movie theaters or drive-in movie theaters. There could be Ape Father of the Apes Steakhouse, Ape Father of the Apes Hamburger, Hot Dog Joint, Ape Father of the Apes Hair Salon, Ape Father of the Apes Ice Cream, Ape Father of the Apes Gyms. You name it, we could do it. I will then contact a lawyer that specializes in these matters. Okay, they're going to probably put together some sort of a SEC regulated crowdfunding situation that's got to be registered or regulated by the SEC, a private placement, whatever the lawyer is going to recommend. 
you will then receive a prospectus, a business plan of what your interest would be. And at that point, that's when you can get an equity position. But where we are at right now, you will not get an equity position. So you might say, why am I doing this? The biggest reason why is we want to tell Adam Aaron to go fuck himself. Okay, this mother F has screwed us. He screwed us out of our money. He made us all look like friggin' Mama Luke Sunans. I want this to be a way to tell him like this, Ba Fangul, okay? And let me tell you something. This project might actually be the catalyst to start the AMC Boaz because I think the media is going to eat this up. Think about the headlines, ready? Retail investors are so angry how they were screwed by Adam Aaron, they started their own movie company, Ape Father and the Apes. Do you really think that won't get media coverage? The media is going to eat it up. 